when it comes to being open, vulnerable, and authentic, RM of BTS is a name that stands tall in the K-pop industry. In his latest documentary, Right People, Wrong Place, RM, born Kim Nam Joon, takes us on a soul-bearing journey through the making of his second solo album, Right Place, Wrong Person. This film is more than just a behind-the-scenes look. It is a revelation of RM's true self, one that fans have only glimpsed through late-night live streams and candid social media posts. Let us dive into the heart of this documentary, what makes it a must-watch for ARMY, and how it reflects RM's personal and professional growth. RM's quest for authenticity. From the outset, RM makes it clear that Right People, Wrong Place is not your typical music documentary. There are no high-energy performances or flashy visuals. Instead, we are treated to an intimate portrayal of an artist grappling with his identity, his ambitions, and his vulnerabilities. There have been many aspects of my life where I couldn't be honest, RM shares in an exclusive Q&A. This documentary allowed him to strip away the layers of pretense and show his true self. As ARMY, we have seen him champion self-love through BTS's Love Yourself era. But as RM explains, to truly love yourself, you must be honest with yourself. This sentiment forms the core of both the album and the film. RM doesn't just want to make music. He wants to tell stories, his stories, and through them, encourage fans to embrace their own truths. Behind the album, Right Place, Wrong Person. Released in May 2024, Right Place, Wrong Person marked RM's return to the solo spotlight. The album, much like the documentary, is deeply introspective, exploring themes of identity, purpose, and belonging. It is a departure from the high-octane energy we associate with BTS, instead opting for slower tempos, experimental sounds, and poignant lyrics. Viewers witness RM collaborating with a collective of musicians and producers, including creative director San Yon. This process is anything but linear. There are moments of creative euphoria, followed by bouts of doubt and frustration. I am the icon of ups and downs, RM says in the film, smiling wryly. But even this emotionally volatile me is very me. This raw honesty resonates with ARMY. RM doesn't present himself as a flawless idol, but as a human being navigating the complexities of life, just like the rest of us. Life Between the Lines, Post-BTS and Pre-Enlistment. The documentary covers a pivotal period in RM's life, the window between BTS announcing their hiatus in June 2022 and his military enlistment in December 2023. This was a time of transition, not just for RM, but for BTS as a whole. For the first time in over a decade, RM found himself without the constant companionship of his six bandmates or the relentless schedule of a global superstar. It was both liberating and disorienting. Without BTS around, I felt loose and unguarded, RM admits. But I also realized how much they ground me. This sentiment is echoed in his reflections on the future of BTS. While Right People, Wrong Place is a deeply personal project, RM never loses sight of his role as BTS's leader. He believes that his journey toward authenticity will ultimately benefit the group when they reunite in 2025. The Challenges of Honesty Being honest is not always easy, especially for someone in RM's position. As one of the most visible faces of BTS, every word he utters is scrutinized. Yet RM remains undeterred. I believe everything happens for a reason, he says in the documentary. You realize what is precious after losing it. Sometimes you have to take something off to truly understand its value. These words reflect not just his personal philosophy, but also his approach to the hiatus and military service. RM sees this time apart as an opportunity for growth, both individually and as a group. The RM Effect, Why This Documentary Matters. Right People, Wrong Place is more than just a film. It is an experience. It offers a rare glimpse into the mind of an artist who is constantly evolving, constantly questioning, and constantly striving to be better. For ARMY, it is a chance to connect with RM on a deeper level. For newcomers, it is an invitation to understand why RM and by extension, BTS has captivated millions worldwide. 
What is next for RM? As RM concludes the documentary, he talks about his hopes for the future. I believe this period of being free and honest will have a good influence on BTS when we enter our next chapter. With BTS set to reunite in 2025, fans are eagerly anticipating what this next chapter will look like. If RM's journey is any indication, it will be one of authenticity, creativity, and renewed purpose. A must-watch for ARMY. Right People, Wrong Place is not just a documentary. It is a testament to RM's resilience, creativity, and unwavering commitment to his craft. It is a film that challenges us to look inward, to embrace our flaws, and to find beauty in imperfection. Whether you are a lifelong ARMY or someone curious about BTS's cultural impact, this documentary is a must-watch. It is a reminder that even in the most challenging moments, there is growth, there is hope, and there is art. So grab some tissues, sit back, and prepare to be inspired. RM's story is one that will stay with you long after the credits roll. Behind the scenes, the creative process. In Right People, Wrong Place, RM's meticulous yet experimental approach to creating music is a focal point. The film dives into his creative process, giving fans a rare glimpse into how he transforms raw emotions into art. Working alongside collaborators like Sanyon and other independent artists, RM pushes his boundaries by exploring genres he had never delved into before. A particularly striking scene shows him in a studio session, dissecting the layers of a track. Music is like building a world, RM explains. Every sound, every lyric, every pause contributes to the atmosphere. It is an endless puzzle, and I am addicted to solving it. In another scene, RM debates with a collaborator about including a vulnerable voice recording in one of the tracks. This is too raw, he hesitates, before admitting, but maybe that is what it needs to be. This openness to showing imperfections highlights his desire for authenticity in his solo work. His choice to feature lesser-known producers and musicians on the album is also intentional. I wanted to work with people who challenge me, he shares in the documentary. The best art comes from stepping outside your comfort zone. The role of nature in RM's reflection. For longtime fans, RM's love for nature is no secret. Right people, wrong place beautifully captures his connection with the natural world, using stunning visuals of him hiking, strolling through parks, and even sketching by rivers. RM explains that being in nature helps him clear his mind and reconnect with himself. When I am surrounded by trees and open skies, the noise in my head quiets down, he says. It is in these moments that I find clarity. The film underscores how his relationship with nature influences his songwriting. Many of the tracks on Right Place, Wrong Person carry metaphors drawn from landscapes, seasons, and the passage of time. One standout lyric which he recites while walking through a forest is particularly evocative. I am the river that flows slash but never knows where it is meant to go. These moments of introspection not only showcase RM's poetic sensibility, but also remind viewers of the importance of finding solace in the simple things. Navigating Fame and Solitude One of the most poignant themes in the documentary is RM's struggle to balance the intense spotlight of fame with his yearning for solitude. While many see him as the confident leader of BTS, right people, wrong place, reveals a more introspective side. RM opens up about the loneliness that sometimes accompanies his success. You can be surrounded by millions of people and still feel alone, he reflects. I have realized that being seen is not the same as being understood. This sentiment resonates deeply in a scene where RM walks through the empty streets of Seoul late at night. Wearing a hoodie and headphones, he quietly observes the world around him, seemingly invisible despite his global fame. These moments are precious, he says. They remind me that I am just another person trying to find my place. A cultural ambassador. Beyond music, the documentary also highlights RM's role as a cultural ambassador for South Korea. His passion for art, literature, and philosophy is woven throughout the film, showcasing how these interests shape his worldview.
In one sequence, R.M. visits a museum to admire a contemporary art exhibit. He talks about how visual art inspires his music, saying, Art and music are different languages, but they speak to the same emotions. They both ask us to feel, to question, to reflect. RM's dedication to promoting Korean culture on a global stage is also evident. He discusses his pride in representing South Korea through BTS and his solo work. Being a part of BTS has taught me the value of storytelling, he shares. And through my own journey, I want to show the world the richness of our culture and history. What ARMY means to RM. The documentary's most heartwarming moments come when RM talks about ARMY. While his solo album is deeply personal, he never loses sight of the fans who have supported him. I think of ARMY as my compass, RM says. They remind me of who I am and why I do what I do. He recalls letters and messages he has received from fans around the world, many of whom credit his music with helping them through difficult times. In one particularly touching moment, RM reads a letter from an army who shares how his lyrics gave them the courage to pursue their dreams. Visibly moved, RM reflects, I never imagined my words could have such an impact. It is humbling and inspiring at the same time. As the film draws to a close, RM expresses his hope that right people, wrong place, will not only resonate with fans but also encourage them to embrace their own vulnerabilities. If there is one thing I want people to take away from this, he says, it is that it is okay to be a work in progress. We all are.